situation. So it's really helpful for us to, um, you know, ask questions because we need to really get clear about what has actually um, been said and how we understand it to be sure that we've understood it um, in the way that was intended. Because sometimes we assume what someone means before we've actually um, checked. Um, and that can obviously lead to misunderstandings um, and it's not being clear in what has actually been fed back. So, uh, and number two, uh, put judgments aside. So listening with a sense of curiosity and putting judgments aside really helps us to be active listeners. This means that we didn't, don't prejudge what will be said. And sometimes you know, we've got a tendency to prejudge what is said, but that means that we're not actually listening. That means we were just predicting and we're kind of like, um, you know, fast forwarding the process um, and we're not being active and present. We are sort of, um, you know, going at 110 miles um, ahead because, you know, what we anticipate um, is something, um, you know, that is either not pleasant for us or it may be pleasant for us, but we still have some reason to want to anticipate what is being said. Um, and that's filling up our mind as opposed to us just actually being, being open and actually listening to um, what is being said so that we can um, understand uh, and then actually um, discern whether it's something of value, value to us and that needs to be acted upon. So um, here are three reasons to put judgment aside. So it allows us to be open to new possibilities and that's super helpful for growth, um, learning, development, transformation and changing habits enables us to um, hear a different perspective. And again, that gives us different ideas um, and possibilities. And number three, it enables you uh, the opportunity to process and decide what action to take. And again, as I keep saying, it's about discernment when we have fully listened to what has been said um, and by asking those questions and seeking to understand, um, do we then um, discern and make a judgment as to you know, if that feedback really rings true and if we actually do need to make um, any steps um, to take action or whether, you know, in fact, it isn't something that rings true um, and it is, it is something that needs to um, be put to one side um, and not acted upon because not all feedback is equal and not all feedback needs to be necessarily act acted upon, but it's about this discernment piece, which is what we really have to be um, um, super focused on when we um, listen to the feedback that we're given, you know, and being discerning um, is about really understanding, you know, how is the feedback going to help, hinder or harm you? So number three is ask clarifying questions and manage your emotions. So as I said, you know, it's really important for us to manage our emotions, emotions when we are listening. Um, especially if that feedback is of the sort of more, um, you know, negative or corrective type, or even if it's just um, feedback, which isn't necessarily negative um, per se, but it, it challenges, challenges us in some way, which does not make us feel comfortable. Um, so we need to really um, be mindful of that uh, and take steps to um, acknowledge it, but also to help ourselves to, um, you know, re-center um, um, we affirm our focus and get ourselves um, clear and able to um, really listen and hear what's being said and not just um, be clouded um, by our emotions. Like I say, it is like not denying those emotions, but it is just um, being mindful that we are able to sort of manage them as we're listening um, so that we can obviously go through the entire conversation um, and be able to ask the relevant questions. Um, and then after that process has been done, we have our moment to, you know, go through our processing our moments, sorry, processing our moments um, more fully because obviously then it is our own space and time to kind of reflect and think about how we want to um, proceed or act upon um, the feedback that has been given. So here are um, some questions that we can use to clarify what you've heard. So the first one is what I'm hearing is X, is this correct? Could you uh, give me a specific example or instance? And what are your options for solving this problem? So those are the kinds of questions that you may like to ask um, to clarify, um, you know, what you 